Uh, hi everyone and welcome back to this series of uh, electrical ASICs, power systems and machines BO exam. Now, uh, these are two theoretical questions. I get some requests to solve uh, those theoretical questions. It's a question that is repeated in almost all the exams after the COVID. I did some uh, questions about the transformers and about the harmonics. These two questions are about induction uh, motors. So let's see these two questions. The first question says here, when a three phase motor is connected to a delta supply, so basically you have a three wire system, will it work if one of power supply legs open? So if I have an open circuit here, will the motors open? Explain why or why not? So basically what will happen, the motor, when one of the supplies basically are open circuit, it will try to drive more current to compensate. And when you drive more current, basically here, you basically you will have an overheating of the motor. And if the motor has thermal protection, it will disconnect. Plus the torque that you will have, Instead of having a rotating magnetic field, you will have a pulsating magnetic field. So you see the speed that is changing too much and that can burn the motor. So there's too much torque applied to the, to the rotor can really damage the motor. To demonstrate this to you, uh, I will have a simple simulation using uh, this uh, software that I showed to you. Uh, which is uh, basically uh, about uh, simulating different uh, power uh, system components. It's a very uh, practical uh, type of uh, software. So let me run here the software. So this is a three-phase motor supplied from a three-phase supply. So each phase had 3.6, 3.6, and 3.6. So it's a balanced system. It rotates at around 1800 RPM. So it, everything is working very well. Now let's see what will happen if I basically here disconnect one of the phases, meaning like a fault happened here, and look to the currents here. So the current becomes getting high, low, high, high currents, and look to the speed here. And so, and the torques, you will have start to have a pulsating uh, system or a pulsating torque. And as I said, this eventually will damage your uh, your motor okay so that is basically what will happen if you have an open an open circuit in your in your motor then then we'll have the second question which says here why the efficiency of an induction motor is super poor at high slip now the efficiency okay let me just uh, do this uh, let me go for the full so the efficiency is equal to your P out over your P in. Okay. Now the P out is equal to P convert minus P losses from the mechanical. So from this formula, this is your P out. Okay. And P convert, P convert, this is P convert. So P convert is equal to 1 minus S, P gap, air gap. And P air gap is equal to uh, basically uh, 3 I2 square R2 over, over S. Okay, so this is the, and this is all coming from the power flow. I will have uh, in the video description more details about this power flow in induction motor. So what will happen? When your slip is high, when the S is high, your PAG will be low. When your PAG is low and the S is high, the P convert is even, even lower. So the P out becomes extremely small. This is why the efficiency of the motor when uh, running at high slip will become very, very small. 